Hey you guys, Wendy McBurger here. Tomorrow is the big day, the big reveal of the Happy Meal toys that have been out for weeks, so you've probably seen them already. But now you get to hear my opinion on them. Ooh, so valuable. But before we get to that, I thought we'd take a little look at a retrospective of some old Barbie Happy Meals. And I just happen to have one of my prized possessions. McDonald Collectibles Guide. It only goes up to 1997 though, so gonna be doing some talking with some little slides like over here or something later. But let's get to the ones that I have. I wish I still had the toys, but I had to get rid of them because of space. And now this is my only consolement. I think I'm gonna recollect them though, because I miss them. And you know, flea market season's coming up, so in February of 92, you the first set. Ugh, it's so hard to get all of them in. There were four toys. Just showing them off right there. And then the box. Back when they used to put like way more effort into their box art. Well, let's see. Each premium is a miniature hard plastic Barbie, which was exclusive to McDonald's. Made from McDonald's Mattel Inc. made in China. I guess that's what they said on the back. Uh, this was the first promotion in the UK. Oh, oh, this was a UK set. Okay. This was the first promotion in the UK to have eight premiums in one set. Four for girls and four for boys. The boys premiums were Corgi Racers. Oh my god, that sounds so cute! It probably isn't that cute. I'm gonna look it up and probably put a picture up. It's probably not puppies. But oh my gosh, if there were little Corgis racing! That's such a UK thing, too. Uh, Fantasy Barbie, Hawaii Barbie, and Weekend Barbie were released in the first promotion of Barbie in America with slightly different names. The Wedding Day Barbie is the, in the British set is slightly different. It has blonde hair. In America, this Barbie had red hair, and the name was also different. It was known as Wedding Day Midge. Aw, Midge's wedding. All premiums were packed in clear poly bags with insert cards. Barbie also ran in Mexico, Latin America, Belgium, Denmark, Finland, France, Greece, Italy, Norway, Portugal, Spain, Sweden, and Switzerland in February of 1992. Holland ran it in January 9th through February 19th, 1992. Iceland in 1992. Panama and Puerto Rico in 91. And apparently like two boxes were issued. Uh, the one that I just showed you was the Wedding and Hawaii Catwalk. And then there was a Fantasy and Weekend Catwalk. I'll see if I can find it and put it up, but like, it is really hard to find pictures of some of the old ones. <laughs> the first one that I remember, I actually had almost all of these when I was little. <clears throat> little frog in my throat. So we've got RB set two. I like the roller skating one because it had wheels at the bottom and it can move. And this one I like because it had a dress, but I lost the dress almost immediately. Like, until I got this book, I forgot what the dress even looked like. <laughs> and then this one in the pink dress is super shiny and pretty, and uh, I loved all of these. Oh, and the ballerina one spins. Yeah, I liked these a lot, even though they didn't have brushable hair. That didn't come till later. I got boxes, too. So those are cool because they have like actual pictures of Barbie. And it's Birthday Surprise Barbie, My First Ballerina, Rappin' Rockin' Barbie, Rollerblade Barbie, Rose Bride Barbie, Snap and Play Barbie, Sparkle Eyes Barbie, Sun Sensation Barbie, and Sparkle Eyes Barbie Under 3. I don't think they do Under 3 toys anymore. At least I haven't seen them at my restaurant. Hi Belle! That's what the pitter-pattering is if that's coming up on camera, which it probably is because this mic is super sensitive. Yeah. So. Not toys that I had growing up, but look how pretty. And that one looks like it has like a real dress. Um, yep, Sea Holiday Barbie had a uh, blue material skirt which could be taken off to reveal Barbie in a swimsuit. And the My First Barbie Pivots. Cool. And then set three was when they started getting brushable hair. I always liked the shiny pink one. 
And the birthday one was cool too, because look, she's got like confetti on her dress. Set four, I think might've been my favorite growing up, because like, they were kind of cool looking. Like you had like Camp Barbie and like a bicycler Barbie and a hiking Teresa and Bridesmaid Skipper was probably always my favorite. I think that's Skipper. Locket Surprise, Barbie and Ken. I loved them. They were so cool. I remember driving around looking for them like all the McDonald's in my area and I was so excited when my mom and I finally found them. These were really cool because like the rollerblading Barbie was super jointed so you could like pretend she was roller skating and she had a helmet even though she wasn't wearing it but at least she had one. And there was the Barbie on the horse, that little cowgirl Barbie and that fairy like in the real life one. Or, they were all real life, like <laughs> the um the full size one that you could buy in stores was like a little bubble wand, but that one just kind of was. And I loved that particular, I think it was like butterfly Teresa or something, because like you could spin it and the butterflies changed colors so it looked like they were moving. And then this dancing one on the stand, like you push the button, it sort of danced in a weird robotic way. <laughs> I like that one too, but it was weird. So yeah, you can see they're getting more elaborate, like Ken comes with a ski-doo that he can be on or off of. Barbie's stand has a little dolphin on it. Uh, the ice skater twirls. Really cool. The 95 set in the UK is really nice too. Like, look at that. I love them with the mirror. And then in 90, Six, Atlanta, Georgia was like where we had the Olympics, so I had like little international dolls to celebrate. And then Barbie was America and she was just sort of in an Olympic outfit because America literally has no traditional outfit, like at all. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I always love the Japanese one. Look how pretty her kimono is. And that's all this book has to cover. But I did find some pictures of some of the other ones, so I'm gonna be like posting them somewhere in like sort of a slideshow kind of a way while I talk. Uh, I think the best ones are the ones that were all dolls, but you know, they we move away from that in some promotions, and like some have dolls, some, and like a mix of accessories. There was one that had like all accessories, and that's kind of lame, because then at that point, what's the point of putting Barbie on it? The brushable hair was always nice because and like once they put that in they never got rid of it to my knowledge i think you know they never got rid of it <laughs> and uh later down the line they started promoting the movies with the happy meal toys and those were kind of cool like i like how the 12 dancing princesses one actually had 12 toys nice detail in there there were two my scenes one of them they were on rollerblades another one they were just like promoting various dolls in the line uh they did Life in the Dream House two years in a row. But I mean, they were kind of cool. So yeah, Bar Mattel's been using the Happy Meal promotions to sort of sell whichever dolls they're promoting at the time. So right now they're promoting Fashionistas. So that's what you'll be seeing tomorrow or have already seen because they've been up for weeks and you probably have a bunch of them by now, if you collect. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited. I hope you're excited. I love these toys. They're reasonable quality and kind of fun. I can definitely see myself using a couple of them in my life. <laughs> You'll have to see that tomorrow. I'll see you then. Peace.